Hi, thank you all so much for being here with me. Today we're going to be talking about birth control. So birth control has been an area of interest for people since ancient times, and luckily your contraceptive choices are way safer and more effective than ever before. It can actually be a challenge to navigate how many options that you really do have. There are a few key factors to consider when deciding whether or not a birth control method will work best for you and your lifestyle. Uh, contraceptives are not one size fits all, so it's important to narrow down your choices and educate yourself before coming to your doctor. My name is Bella and I'm a former healthcare assistant at Planned Parenthood and I've been doing birth control counseling for over two years and have helped countless people decide on their contraceptive choices. There are three key factors to consider whether or not a birth control method will work best for your lifestyle. It's important to note that these are not the only factors to consider, and it's important to talk to your doctor to ensure that the method that you're interested in is going to work for you. So first is effectiveness of the method. Second, how often you have to maintain the method. And third, whether or not you want a hormonal or a non-hormonal option. So first and foremost is efficiency, and for most people this is a really big one. If you're on birth control, people generally don't want to get pregnant, so it's important to select one that's going to work for you and your needs. Not including sterilization and abstinence, the most effective methods are the LARCs or the long-acting reversible contraceptions. These include the hormonal and non-hormonal IUDs as well as the implant that goes into your arm. These options are considered to be about as effective as sterilization, over 99% effective, um, but they are easily reversed. After the LARCs, the next best methods are the other hormonal options such as the birth control ring, birth control pill, patch, and the Depo-Provera shot. These methods are not as effective as the LARCs, but they are still very effective if you use them correctly. These methods are considered to be about 91 to 94% effective with average use. Next, there are the barrier methods such as the condom, internal condom, and the diaphragm. These methods work best if you use them alongside a spermicide, which is a sperm killing gel or foam. And it's also important to note that condoms are the only method that can be used to help prevent the transmission of STIs, so that's also an added bonus. Um, you can also double up and use any of these um, barrier methods alongside any of the other methods to help increase your effectiveness of those methods. So with regular use, the condoms are about 85% effective, internal condom is 79% effective, and the diaphragm is about 85% effective. There are less effective methods that require no birth control at all, and these are called the natural family planning methods. These include the withdrawal method and the fertility awareness method. So the fertility awareness method requires that you are very knowledgeable about your body and you track your cycle and ovulation to help prevent fertilization. And, when, and with the withdrawal or the pull-out method, it requires that the uh, male partner pulls out before ejaculation. With perfect use, these methods can be up to 77 to 88% effective, but there is a lot of room for error. The next, best, the next thing to consider are, uh, is maintenance. How often do you want to maintain your birth control method? With the barrier methods, such as the condoms, uh, you have to use those every single time. Uh, after that, the birth control ring is daily, the patch is weekly, and the ring is uh, monthly. Many clinics will offer a year supply to you, but it is important for you to remember to take your method and for you to store it as directed. The Depo-Provera shot is administered in clinic every three months. So for this method, you have to make sure that you can arrange tra transportation and remember to attend your appointments every three months. The implant or the arm bar, that lasts for up to five years and it must be inserted into and eventually removed from your arm by a healthcare professional. The two most common IUDs or intrauterine devices uh, are inserted into your uterus. Uh, these are the hormonal IUD, like the Mirena, and the Paragard, which is the non-hormonal IUD. The Mirena is the most common and it lasts for up to seven years, and the copper non-hormonal IUD lasts for up to 10 years. These also have to be removed and inserted by a doctor. It's important to consider what's going to work best for you. When, if ever, do you want to pursue pregnancy? 
Can you remember to attend appointments and take a pill every day? The answer to those questions is different for everyone. The last thing to consider is whether you're willing or wanting to use any method that has any hormones in it. So hormones can be really great for certain people. They can be used to shorten your periods, regulate your periods, or even skip your periods altogether, as well as uh, help people with their hormonal acne. But for some people, it can cause some unwanted side effects. These uh, unwanted side effects can vary among contraception to contraception and from person to person. Some non-hormonal methods include the Paragard IUD and the barrier methods such as the condom, internal condom, and diaphragm, as well as the natural family planning methods such as the fertility awareness method and the withdrawal method. It's important to talk to your doctor as some people might not be a good, a good candidate for certain hormonal uh, birth controls. So they'll do a wellness exam and see if the one you're interested in is going to be able to be used by you. In the end, choosing a birth control method is a very personal decision and ultimately your healthcare providers will give you the okay to decide if that's a good option for you. Remember to consider these three main points when considering whether a contraceptive method would work for your lifestyle. So first, the effectiveness of the method. Second, how often you have to maintain your method. And third, whether you would prefer a hormonal or a non-hormonal option. Your fertility is your choice, and there are so many options that are available to plan for your future. If you find that the contraception that you're using or you chose is not working for you, you can always bring up your concerns to your doctor. They can help you decide your next best options. There are so many resources that are available and one of my favorites is actually the Planned Parenthood website and they have a questionnaire that you can do that can help you decide a couple of birth control options that might work best for your lifestyle. So stay safe and stay informed and thank you very much.